Hello, you're watching Introduction to ID8 Sticky. My name is Glennis Patterson, Director of ID8 Software. In this video, I'll demonstrate how ID8 Sticky improves your project deliverables and simplifies coordination by elegantly linking Word, PDF, and Excel data into your Revit projects. As we know, Revit has a powerful engine to synchronize the building information between the model elements and the schedules. But there is no good method to represent tabular non-BIM data, such as code checklists, or design requirements, or your consultant's data. The great news is that ID8 Sticky addresses all of these Revit challenges by quickly and elegantly linking your Excel file into your Revit model without any messy rework and without being inside of the Revit project. Let's see how. To create a Sticky, you want to first use the Create button and select your source and then select the file. So in our first example here, we're going to be looking at a code list, which is a great example of using ID8 Sticky. It's non-BIM data. It's just a list here of requirements given to us by you know, jurisdiction. And our goal is to update this information throughout the project. So what we'll want to do with Sticky is make sure that that Sticky is set to auto update. And what that does is when we open the file, it's going to reread that information and refresh it within Revit. Um, so let's take a look at that. And before I do that, I'm actually going to not use the sample file. I'm going to pick a, a different version of that same file so that we can make some changes to it. So I'll use this similar file and just sort of swap it out there. And you'll see when I do that, uh, this version of the file actually has some slightly different information in here. You can see I have two rows of data and the top is yellow. So we're going to go ahead and close that now and save it. And then we'll go to the Excel file and make some additional changes. And the person making these changes does not need to be the same person. You know, it could be anybody on the team. It could be somebody using Dropbox. Um, more notes here. And we'll go ahead and put that there. And then when we, you know, when the, when the file is opened up again, Sticky knows that auto update is on, so it checks it. I get the success icon there, and we can see here that the new information is listed now. So code lists are a great example of stickies. Let's take a look at a few others. You may notice that we are on a, a tab here called Excel Schedules. Those are one type of sticky. Uh, you can any Excel file can be used in conjunction with this method, but there's an additional method, which is a newer method that's very similar. You can see here uh, that you have the access to the Excel files, but you also have access to other types of documents. So for example, I have a specification which is coming from a Word document. And I can add all or some of the pages, choosing the DPI that I prefer, and create those as stickies as well. If they're created on a page where there's nothing yet placed, um, they would go in the center of the page. Otherwise, they're going to go up top just so they don't overlap, and you can move them around. And they're going to have the same functionality we just saw, where you can choose to update them automatically with the auto-update function or not. Let's take a look at another example of that type of sticky, which is an image. Um, and let's take a look at how this works with an Excel file and why we might do that. Uh, you can see here we can pick different parts of the Excel file. So we can bring in this case, there's a timeline um, where it's just the chart. We can bring in the print area where it's the data as well as the chart, or we can pick a different tab. So this is the one that I want. And you can see here, it's there's a little icon that represents the source of the file there. If I were to create that exact same Excel file using the original flavor of Sticky, the, the Sticky schedule over here, it's also going to work, but it's going to work a little bit differently. So you're going to want to think about what your what your goal is. These Excel files that are created as schedules 
have a different look. They have some different um, Bennett pros and cons, uh, but you can see they're they're fairly similar here. Um, you'll notice, however, it did not it was not able to include the the chart. So a lot of times, if you're looking for something that's very very specific, um, and has graphics and inten graphic intensive like this chart, you're going to want to use the image option instead. Uh, but either Either way, Sticky can support a variety of file formats. Let's end by showing the PDF here. And actually, before we do that, let's switch gears here and let's make a drafting view. Uh, make a roof drain and we'll make it 1 to 20. So we're now on a drafting view. With the new Sticky images, we can also create the images on a drafting view or on a floor plan view if we want. So I'm going to go ahead and select this document here, place it on my drafting view here, and then I can in turn bring that into my sheet as, as appropriate. And I can again decide whether that's something that I think might update over time. Maybe it's going to be republished as a PDF without the title block later. And so I can use that checkbox as a way to ensure that they're synchronized. So as we've seen, the changes to the external Word, PDF, and Excel files can be automatically updated into the Revit model via ID8 Sticky. This means that we can eliminate the need for data entry inside of Revit, thereby reducing liability due to errors while saving lots of time. And imagine the value of being able to publish information from a single external file into many Revit projects all at once without opening any of the Revit files. ID8 Sticky is the perfect solution for publishing non-BIM data, but as our customers have pointed out, sometimes even BIM data needs a boost. Here's a short list of some examples where the raw BIM data is exported into Excel via ID8 BIM link, and then that same data is grouped and or reformatted in a way that regular Revit schedules will not allow. Only Sticky can solve this problem. So what will use Sticky? Some common usages will include general notes and conditions, coordinating data from your consultants, and publishing code checklists or owner requirements. BIM managers will use ID8 Sticky to publish starting views or Revit tips, and managing important matrix data, such as document issuance records, will also be a huge time saver. So whether you're an engineer, architect, or designer, there are many ways in which ID8 Sticky can reduce your workload and ensure that no data is lost in transcription. Be sure to review our in-product and online help files for detailed information on how to make the most out of ID8 Sticky. For more information on ID8 Sticky, including online training, recorded videos, and upcoming events, visit us online at id8software.com forward slash ID8 Sticky. I'm Glynis Patterson, and thanks for watching.